Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film a protein treatment for you guys. As you know, I do have one already on my channel. So this is something a little different. But before we get into that tutorial, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you'll be a part of my notification gang and you'll be a part of the family. I love when we have new family members so go ahead and be a part of our family and if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for coming back and watching. So let's get into the video. Um, On my last video I told you guys how bad my hair felt and how bad my hair looked and that I felt that it was time for a protein treatment. So that's what we're going to do today. And as you can see, my hair is very dry and it's just not looking its best. And usually my twist outs can last me a whole week. This was actually a failed twist out, flat twist out rather. And I had to think of something quick that morning before work. And as you can see, it just looks really dry and just not healthy. So I'm um, going to go ahead and do that protein treatment for you guys and show you how I do one of my protein treatments now this is a protein treatment that I don't necessarily like only because of how nasty it can get I prefer more of a dry based protein treatment than a liquefied protein treatment but because avocados take so long to ripen I have to just go with something else so you're gonna need a spoon or a fork an egg it depends on your length of hair you may want to use two but I only need one of course, you're going to need a bowl to mix up your ingredients in. You're going to need some extra virgin olive oil. You're going to need some mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip. It must be mayonnaise. And some honey. Sorry that the bottle is upside down, but I wanted to get as much as I could down so that it wouldn't take me that long to put the ingredients together. So... Technically, you should do this in a kitchen, but I'm going to do it for you guys here on camera. I am going to crack my egg now. So. And then you're just going to put your honey in there. I don't have actual measurements. I just go based off of what I think my hair needs. So you just go with it extra virgin olive oil and last but not least our mayonnaise and we're gonna take about two to three tablescoops full one two and three so this is what it looks like in the bowl and we're just gonna go in and just mix everything together and you want to make sure that everything is combined together whenever you're doing any kind of protein treatment so that all of your products is evenly distributed up based on your hair Don't use a blender or a mixer for this because it would only make it more liquefied than you want it to be. what it looks like so before we apply this to my hair because it is already dirty I am just gonna go in and give it a light wash and then come back and apply my protein so we're back and my hair is just washed so for this tutorial 
you're gonna need a towel because like I said earlier it can get very messy so I like to just take my towel and wrap it around me because the products do drip you're also going to need clips of choice as well as a comb and shower cap I have two for extra protection if you don't have shower caps you can use just a regular grocery store bag and let's get right into it now just keep in mind that whenever you're doing any kind of protein treatment you should only do them once a month or once every other month because too much protein can be very harsh on the hair so you don't want to over protein your hair And you guys know I like to do my hair in sections. If you want to apply it with a application brush you can do so but I like to just apply it with my hands so this is what it's looking like before and I'm just gonna simply go through and part a nice section and this is our mixture so I'm just gonna pick it up with my hands might want to do this in the bathroom but I like to pick it up with my hands and just place it onto the hair. This part right here is not as messy. It's once you actually get the application all over where it becomes messy. Okay, you guys. So while I'm applying this protein treatment, I do want to go over the benefits of each ingredient used so that you too can understand why I decided to mix all of the products together. Starting off with mayonnaise. The presence of lysistine, an amino acid in mayonnaise, helps and nourishes your scalp to promote healthy hair growth. Eggs. The yolk in eggs is densely packed with nutrition, proteins such as biotin, folate, vitamins A, and vitamins D. Honey. Honey reduces breakage, which is a cause for slower growth. It has rich antioxidant properties, which prevent damages. Keeping your scalp and your hair healthy. Honey strengthens the hair follicle, which curbs hair fallout. Last but not least, olive oil. Olive oil is rich in vitamins A, E, and antioxidants. Olive oil helps protect the keratin in hair and seals in the moisture. So as you guys can see, each one of these ingredients has very good benefits. So if you combine them together, you'll come up with this awesome protein treatment. And we're only helping protecting our hair and adding back in everything that our hair is missing. So we're back and I have applied all of the treatment to my hair and this is what it's looking like. And I focused on my roots and then my ends because it is winter time here. 
so you know winters can be harsh on our hair so I just wanted to make sure I gave that a little extra attention and this is what it's looking like so we're just gonna take our shower cap or plastic bag and apply that to our hair Try to get all of the hair in that first shower cap and then you're just going to use the second shower cap for extra protection. Do not go outside with this treatment in your hair. Do not go anywhere near heat. Do not sit under a dryer because you do have raw eggs a part of this protein treatment and raw egg will cook. So we're going to sit for 15 minutes to 30 minutes with this treatment in our hair and then we're going to wash our hair out in style. So I'll be back with the final look. Okay you guys, so I'm back and this is what my hair is looking like. It's freshly washed and that is after an hour of me leaving on the protein treatment. Don't be worried if you go over that 15 or 30 minute mark it's okay whenever you're doing a protein treatment but try not to go over that hour mark I'm not sure what actually would happen but we don't want it to get all hard and you know all that other stuff so I actually washed out the protein treatment first then I followed through with my conditioner which I ended up using the Aussie Moist 7-in-1 conditioner. You would want to typically do your shampooing at that point, but because I didn't have shampoo, I just did two cycles of my conditioner, so I washed it out with warm water first, and then to seal in any added moisture, I uh, used cold water to close up the shaft. Anytime you're washing your hair, you want to finish it off with cold water. As crazy as it sounds, cold water is actually better to close up that hair shaft. So this is what we're looking like. And I'm just gonna add my oils and style my hair. But I got a good treatment in. So my curls are bouncing back, which is what I really wanted. And just to show you guys, this is what happens when the protein treatment is in your hair, as well as on my towel, if I can find it. But this was the portion that was around my neck so it starts to drip down a little bit and then you have to just constantly wipe on your ears so you want to make sure you do this and close it you probably won't wear out anywhere and you want to make sure that you have a towel on hand just so that you can continue to wipe up whatever drips so if you can't stay still you definitely would want to um, use a towel just to have it around your neck but if you can stay still you can just have that towel on hand and just kind of wipe every time you feel something drip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what you would like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.